Hello, my name is Dylan, but you can call me Buttercup. Welcome to Buttercup's Fascinations. I have another Yarny update for you today. Um, you may notice this is not my deep winter coat. That is because I decided not to finish it. Um, and that's not due to any problems with the pattern. The pattern is great. The problem is the yarn that I chose. Um, the yarn I chose is 100% cotton. And cotton is pretty stiff to start with. And the deep winter coat involves worsted weight yarn held double at a pretty tight gauge for worsted weight held double. So cotton at a really tight gauge also gets really stiff. And I was working the short rows for the sleeve cap on the first sleeve and it was awful. I could not bring myself to want to do that again. Um, and when I got past the short rows into the actual sleeve fabric, it was physically uncomfortable to work because of how stiff the fabric is. Um, so I frogged that first sleeve that I started, stabilized the provisional cast on on the back of the neck, and my mom is going to wear it as a vest now. Um, again, the pattern is great. The yarn I chose was not, and I am not going to finish it. Um, learn from my mistakes. Do not knit that sweater in 100% cotton. You will regret it. So, instead, I have started on a gift for my uncle. Um, this is Abelio by Mayu KP. Um, I had wanted to show you um, taking out the provisional cast on for this tubular cast on that I did. This was my first ever tubular cast on. And the tutorial that I watched for the tubular cast on included a clip of removing that provisional cast on to start it. And it looked like a magic trick to me. And I wanted to show you that. I even, you know, got started recording and did it. As you can see, the provisional cast on has been removed. And then there was some really loud background noise that interrupted the recording. And the cast on, the provisional cast on was already out. I can't put it back to re-show you. And I'm really disappointed. Um, I'll see if I can um, cut it down to just that clip of taking out the provisional part of the cast on. Because that was really cool to do. I was really excited about that. Um, but yeah, I'm really, really disappointed that that recording is not the one that you're seeing now. I am, I'm really upset about that. But, um, you can see the lovely, lovely edge on here. It's not, like, flaring or anything. It's just a really nice edge. Um... And in case anyone's worried about um, ruining the surprise of the gift or anything like that, my uncle helped me pick the pattern, helped me pick the yarn, all of that. So, 
No surprise ruined. He knows it's coming. Um, don't worry. Um, but I finished the short row section last night and have done nothing else on it. Um, so you can see the back. We've got some cables built up a little bit. We've got some of the sleeve cables starting. But then on the front, there's just the ribbing. So, um, hopefully I'll make some good progress on that today. Um, but it's so far pretty easy to work. It's a easy to remember cable pattern as well, which I find helpful. Um, I'm looking forward to having enough stitches built up that I don't have to do magic loop anymore. Um, magic loop is really useful and I also find it really annoying. So hopefully I can get to a point today where I don't have to do magic loop anymore. Um, but yeah, this is a really nice cast on. Um, and yeah, I really, I really like this edge. Um, learning this cast on and the Italian bind off may have created a monster because I really like how these edges look. They're a pain to do, but oh, they look so nice. I... I may wind up using the tubular cast on and Italian bind off for every sweater from now on, which is a pain because the Italian bind off takes forever, but it looks so nice. And the tubular cast on is kind of fiddly. But again, it looks so nice. And <sighs> yeah, I may have created a monster here. But oh well, it's a nice looking monster at any rate. Um so Again, I'm really disappointed that I couldn't show you taking out the provisional cast on for the tubular part because that was really, really cool. So the way that worked, it was a crochet chain cast on. So there was a crochet chain sitting along the top here, kind of like pulling it in actually because you start by casting on half the number of stitches that you need and the cast on um, the process of doing it gets the rest of the stitches in so it was kind of pulling it in and basically um, to remove it you pull out the crochet chain and so I undid the end over here, pulled it, and it basically the chain undoes on the outside, and the yarn from the chain is in the tube created by the cast on. And so you pull the chain out, and then you pull the yarn out of the tube, and it looks really, really cool. It looks like a magic trick. So if I can figure out how to um, neatly get that clip 
and that clip alone out of that video. I will post it on its own because it's really cool. Um, maybe the next time I use that cast on, I'll be able to get that in the regular video like I wanted. Um, but that is all I have for today. Um, taking out that cast on really was going to be the centerpiece of this video. Um, and it would have taken a couple of minutes. It did take a couple of minutes of the runtime. And now I can't show it to you in this video. I'm sorry about that. Um, but thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you.